Hello guys, I am doing this course on Coursera and as far as I know there is no keyboard shortcut to toggle subtitles. Also I, I was watching this amazing playlist on Chrome extensions by the coding train and uh, so I am thinking of uh, creating a extension so that uh, we can press C on the keyboard to uh, toggle subtitles. So that's the premise of this video and let's get started. So first of all, we need a way to um, grab these buttons and click on them uh, using JavaScript instead of manually. So let me open the developer options and uh, let's just make it so its own with a separate window and snap the browser on the left. Uh, one more thing I need to disable. Yes, I need to disable word wrap. Um, and let me increase the font size a little bit. Okay. Um. So we need to grab this uh, uh, buttons, uh, basically. So let's select them and inspect a little bit what is happening here. So it turns out that uh, each of these button is a uh, is inside an unordered list, and each of them is a list item, uh, in which the button el element is nested, and there is a span which contains the actual text to be shown. Okay. And uh, how does it determine which one is active? So the currently active one has, I think, the class active class equal to active. Like if we change to subtitle of okay. Now the first list element is active, and the third one is not active. Okay. So is there a pattern here that we can uh, use to grab them, like a common class or something? Okay, I noticed that uh, uh, each of this span element has a class of subtitle label so that is the case for each list element right yes so we can use this to grab uh, all the spam elements so let's try that and go to our console we can uh, create a sub list using document dot yes using get elements by class name and that returns a list of all the elements, I think. Let's see what is the content of sublist of zero. Yep, it is the first element that is subtitles of. And by that logic, English will be third index, right? So if we grab subtitles of zero, three, I mean, and it shows English, okay. Right now the subtitles are off, so we need a way to click on this English button, right? And if we go to our source code and see that this button has um two childs kind of like one em tag and a span tag. So if we go to the parent element of this span, then we can access the button related to that subtitle. So what we can do is we can go to this parent element and click on it. So let's try that. For example, for this span element of English, uh, we can go to this parent element. That is the button representing representing that subtitle, and then we can click on it just using the click function. Okay, and if we click on it, you see the subtitles are on. Similarly, we can do this for any of the element, like for two, it's some kind of Chinese. And if we go to zero again, then the subtitles will be off. Okay, now we have a way to click on them programmatically. And uh, now what we need to do next is uh, detect keystrokes, right? Like uh, we need to detect if someone pressed C 
healthy or not and for that uh, let me go to do a google search uh, actually i searched for this before and uh, this stack overflow answer uh, seems to work so that's what we are going to do like we can use this to detect key presses this event so what will i do is document dot on key press that is equal to a function we need to execute this function whenever a key is pressed passing in the information about the key okay so first of all let's uh, console.log this okay and let's try to press p here okay as soon as i press p this keyboard event is logged on the console and how do we know which key is it it is okay there is a key attribute so instead of this we can console log key dot key now whenever i press a key it is logged here right so we only need to work make this so that it works for p only right so we can do a simple simple if statement like uh, if uh, a dot key is equal to c or capital c right so let's just this again like if this is c um what am i doing okay if Like whenever C key is pressed, we need to do something, right? So what we need to do? We need to toggle subtitles. So for that, we need to find the current state of subtitles, right? So let me just copy this. How do we find which one is currently selected? So here we see that uh, the one which has been selected has the class of active. So we can use that. So First of all, let me just let me just grab that sub list again here in this function document dot get elements by class name. Oh. <laughs> Subtitle level right. Now we have grabbed this sub list. We can uh, do something like uh, we need to find this. Uh, we need to go to the parent that is a button and then again its parent which is the actual list element so that we can grab its class so what i will do is uh, if and uh, we know that uh, the zeroth element is no subtitles and the third element is english right third index so we can just check if uh, sub list of zero its parent like and then again its parent which is the actual list element uh, dot class i guess dot class name mm. let me just try this uh, like uh, 
sub list of zero dot parent element dot parent element dot class class name yet it returns active right and if we try for a third it returns nothing because uh, its class is there is no class for third element right now because it is not selected okay then uh, we can try this if if uh, the class name of this list element is active that means that uh, that class is active right now okay let me decrease it somewhat more okay if this is active actually we don't need this braces because there will be only one statement i can just use if this is active we need to click on the third element because uh, the other subtitle like right so we can do this sub of three dot parent element dot click right and for the other case which means that uh, um zeroth index subtitle is not active then we need to make it active right there can be only two options right so and uh, i think uh, that's it it must work right if we are pressing c and then we are grabbing all the sub list and then we are checking which one is active and we are toggling based on that so let's try like if i press c now okay it's working if i press c the subtitles are toggling right so it is working now what we need to do is this is working locally right we need to convert this into a chrome extension like basically this code should run when for our chrome extension and for that uh, we need to create this manifest file so let me open up a terminal and uh, let's me make a, a folder on desktop and make name it uh, Uh, I will name it uh, Cursor X. X and open Sublime here. Okay, we need two files basically, two files for a Chrome extension. The first one is manifest.json, like it is the absolute minimum and uh, the other file which uh, describes our script so i am going to name it content.js in many uh, manifest.json basically tells uh, tells what is the description of our subtitle uh, of our extension so i am going to copy this from uh, coding train video manifest version and name of our extension uh, let's make it a Coursera subtitle shortcut and uh, its version will be 0 0.1 this is our extension version and this is our manifest uh, file version right? 
like 0 point, 0 0.1 is right there. Then uh, content scripts. It will be a list containing all of our scripts. So, and each of the item will be a object of itself. And now the matches. Matches is basically on which sites we need to work, like on which sites our extension should trigger. So right now I will just make it all URLs. Uh, later we can do it such that it only works on Coursera. Like here he is saying only shipment.net and the name of our JS uh, JavaScript file. It will also be a list. So our name of file is content.js, right? So we can write content.js. And I think that's it. It should work. So our manifest file is completed, I think. And uh, Now we need to put content in this content.js and for that we will use this right the javascript code which we want to execute so let me just copy this and paste it here as it is and uh, I think that's it it should work it only has two files one manifest and one content so I will close this and make it close there so right now uh, the code we wrote in the console is working right so let me refresh it and try pressing C and again we need to Add this extension manually, right? So let's just see that it should not work right now. So, in this video, you're learning about something. If I press C right now, uh, the subtitles are not toggling. Okay, let me just pause this and add our extension. Load on fact. Um, it was in desktop or said ext. Okay, it is enabled right now. Let me refresh this. So, if now I press C, the subtitles are toggling. If now I press C, okay, so that's it. We, one other thing is that uh, we can see that uh, this icon uh, appears here but there is no pop-up no special pop-up uh, related to that because uh, we haven't added that uh, pop-up HTML file yet and uh, we don't even need that for our use case so if in the future I um, decide to upload it to Chrome store then I will put a link in the description for that and that's it thanks